Hello and welcome to our channel Mariners Point. So today in this video we will be discussing about some formulas for the problems on trains. So these uh, these questions are asked based on the trains, uh, speed of trains, finding the uh, speed or the time taken by the train to cross a platform um, uh, or time taken by a uh, train to cross the pole or a standing man. So these type of questions are asked in synergy exams. In numerical aptitude so we will see some of the basic formulas which will be helpful in uh, doing the solutions easily and uh, in a less time so there are two basic formulas the first one is to convert kilometer per hour to meter per second and meter per second to kilometer per hour so these data are used uh, uh, largely in the competitive exams and you will need uh, uh, to use it a multiple number of times so the first is to, if you want to convert kilometer per hour to meter per second we can multiply that particular number with the 5 by 18 and if we can want to convert and that given data from meter per second to kilometer per hour we can multiply simply by 18 by 5 and we we'll get the result then third is uh, the time taken by a train of length l meters to pass a pole or a standing man or a signal post is equal to the time taken by the train to cover l meters which means that uh, if uh, uh, if there is a, a train of length l meter suppose there is a, a train whose length is 200 meter and uh, it is said that uh, uh, time taken by the train to cross a pole is 30 second here is a pole so time taken by the train to cross or uh, cross this pole is 30 second so which means that uh, the train uh, that the train can cover 200 meter in 30 seconds so this is the meaning of this statement next is time taken by a train of length l meter to pass a stationary object of length b meters is the time taken by the train to cover l plus b meter so here it is saying that uh, if, if in, in the first uh, statement it was given that, that it was a standing man or a standing pole which doesn't have any height width or length so in this case we are considering a stationary object which has a fixed length of b meters so in that case suppose uh, in the question it will be given like that a train of length 200 meter crosses a platform of 300 meter in 40 seconds which means that a train can cover 200 plus 300 that is 500 meters in 40 seconds so accordingly we can calculate the speed next is suppose two trains or two objects or bodies are moving in the same direction at u meter per second and v meter per second where u is greater than v then their relative speed is u minus v meter per second which means that if there is a if there are two trains which are running like there are two trains a and b so if they are moving in the same direction one is moving in a is moving in this direction and b is also moving in same direction a with u meter per second and b with b meter per second so if you want to calculate the relative speed so the relative speed will be subtraction of u minus v so here it is given u greater than v so in that case in the question we can see whichever is the value greater so ultimately we have to take the modulus of that that is we have to take the difference next is this suppose two trains or two objects moving in the opposite direction now if a and b are moving in opposite direction suppose a is moving in this direction and b is moving in this direction right so we can say that let me clear it first So in the next statement is that if the, both of them are moving in opposite direction. So suppose um, there is a train who is moving in this and there is a train A and B. So A is moving in this direction with u meter per second and B is moving in this direction with b meter per second. So the relative speed will be u plus v meter per second. Then next we have if two trains of length a meters and b meters are moving in opposite direction at u meter per second and v meter per second then the time taken by the train to cross each other will be a plus b by u plus v 
that is the length of the length of the trends divided by the speed of the trends so here is in opposite direction as we have seen the relative speed will be if they are moving in opposite direction so the relative will be added so here we can see u plus b so the total length of the trend and by the relative speed so you can solve it by the general process method also but it will take longer time so but in the examination we will have to solve it uh, within a less amount of time as less as possible so you can directly use this formula and if uh, the, the a and b are two length given of the trends and if they are moving in the same direction so ultimately the in the same direction the relative speed will be subtracted that is u minus v and the last is if two trends start from same point from point a and b same point from point a and b towards each other and after crossing they take a and b second in reaching b and a respectively then there is ratio of speed will be given by the root b into root a so here it is saying the statement is saying that uh, if we consider here one trend and here one trend so this is a this is point a this is point b suppose a train starts from point a to reach point b so it is taking a seconds it is taking a seconds and at the same time a train starts from b and to reach point a so it take b second to reach from b to a so in that case in the ratio of uh, speed of a and b is given by root b is to root a so this is the same these are the simple formula you can directly apply and so solve the questions uh, within, within the uh, it will take a, a usually less than 10 seconds to solve this type of problem so you can save your time for the other questions so these were some basic questions which can be asked in synergy exam in the numerical aptitude section so uh, i'll be putting in some i'll be giving a description uh, link in the description for uh, some questions based on these formulas so you can practice that and let me know if you face any problem thank you